You're locked into the hottest radio station on the internet. It's MyRadioConnect.com. So we we about to get to work. They allow me some playtime right now. They allow me a little bit of playtime. How y'all doing out there? Especially all the single women. You know what I'm saying? With at least uh, uh you know 36, 32, 36. How about your boy? And if you're a BBW, you already know. Seven seven zero eight nine six nine zero zero zero. Good morning. <laughs> Had to chop and screw it. I got a bad feeling about this. We made it. We in Meridian, Mississippi. It's about to go down the underground Southern Soul Awards. The boy right there is checking in. Mm, Mississippi, we about to get all the way lit. You see it. You see it. You see it. You see it. What's up, Facebook? I got a decision to make. I don't know what decision to make. Do I go with the green hat tonight? Do I, do I, do I go this way tonight? Do I go black hat tonight I don't know help me out Facebook I just threw my hats on the shelf I already know what shoes I'm wearing today again people listen a lot of people think they can do this they're not built for this at the end of the day they're not built for a radio let alone TV I want to give a big shout out to all uh, the people who support the Ray Dingus Morning Show. I'm not going to say fans because none of you guys are our fans. We look at you as family members every day. Uh, you are sisters, our brothers, our play play cousins. You, you all that. And we love you every day when we wake up. We wake up, it's dark. We go home, it's dark. I wake up about like 4.45. I had to train my body and make it immune to that. I actually had access to the vaccine shots like two years ago before I even came out. I had the COVID-19 back in 2017. So they wasn't, you know, I, I was privileged like that. So they said, yo, Ray, you know, there's going to be something coming out called COVID-19. So you need to go ahead and get double up on these shots real quick. So I doubled up real early in about, you know, 12, 17. Uh, so I'm good. I've been good to go. I've been immune to the whole BS from the day one. Uh, it's your boy Ray Davis. I'm in the cut. Like I said, I'm on location at my office. We're doing a quick little sizzle reel. For a brand new network deal that we got for the Ray Davis Morning Show. I want to shout out to all our affiliates at Charlotte 1044 out there in Charlotte to keep doing your thing, Power 1044. And a big shout outs to Power 106.3 in Louisville, Kentucky. And big shout outs to um, our brand new affiliate in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. You already know it's WJMG out there in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. It's fresh 92.1. It's your boy Ray Davis. I'm here with the crew. I'm about to get it in. I'm about to get that TV money. Now, shout out to Ruku. I'm out. Good morning, good morning, people. Hi, it's Mazi. We're doing, and my husband say hi to Kai. Raheem in the building. Yes. Gonna make some breakfast. Tight to death, baby. Yes. Cracking the eggs. We're gonna do eggs. How are you guys? Let's see. Let's invite some people. Yeah, well, Hi. Rob should be up too. Rob Sales? Yeah. Ha -ha. And your cousin should be up. <laughs> oh yeah, Tiffany. Yeah. I know she's up. Let's see if Rob's up. Robert Yas, he should be. Hi guys.
Well, we're having breakfast this morning. There's some people. Say hi, babe. What's up? Yeah, we up early. Well, it's 7 o'clock. I got some good sleep last night. Hi, to, hi Tanika. <laughs> let me get some, um, let me get some salt. So, we are cooking this morning. Just a little bit of salt. A little pepper. And a little pepper. I'll be working during the week now. You guys know I'm, I'm officially the co-host of Marie Dan's Morning Show. So I don't get to do this cooking anymore early in the morning, but hey, it all works. I love what I do. I do some little milk. Mm -hmm. Milk to put in the eggs. I'm going to put some grits in the pot. Oh, yeah, he put some grits. Hey, yeah. that's one of your friends, babe. Hey, hey. Put, put some grits in the pot. Put some grits in the pot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we'll make those grits. And we're going to scramble the eggs. I don't know. We like scrambled eggs, guys. Mm -hmm. And we do like cheese. Mm -hmm. And just a little bit of black pepper. Get a little of this milk over here. Oh, yeah. And a little special. Milk goes in the grits, too. Yeah. <laughs> Put a special southern and waving at everybody. Uh, uh, uh. Good morning, little, guys. Put a little specialty in it. A little sweet so, milk. So it won't be tight. You know what I'm saying? Had them grits nice. And we got that good cheese on that thing. Yeah. We like cooking together. Like It's amazing, right? Mm -hmm. I love to cook with him because he lets me explore a lot of things that I want yes. to explore. And we make fantastic food together. Isn't yes. that amazing? Mm-hmm. Never was in 
intending on being an artist in the first place, but the opportunity came up and I just took it. And I really want to show my brother, man, this is how you do it. I stay down on your greasy, you know what I'm saying? And most definitely ain't easy. So, but you know, after opportunity after opportunity, I also had the pleasure of working with Mr. College Park, which is DJ Smurf. Um, so, he was with Itchy Bud at the time, you know. And uh, I had the opportunity to perform on the Jenny Jones show. This goes on and on, man. I DJed in plenty of uh, plenty of clubs in Atlanta. Um, I don't know, man. I just love this music thing. It just it just does something to me. I just felt like I was born for it. So as time progressed, man, I had went back and did another uh, project with Kilo Ali, and I came, you know, we came up with that. Some of y'all lost y'all mind. And if you don't know who Kilo Ali is, man, Google him. You know, he is one of the gurus from Atlanta. So, you know, I just had the pleasure of, of, of working with a genius, a genius guy. I also had the opportunity to work with another legend right here in the dream. So, and, you know, Smurf, Kizzy Rock, you know, so all these guys, like, before, you know, internet, before, you know what I'm saying, like, big major record labels coming to Atlanta, man, like, you know what I'm saying, it was like the whole Atlanta movement with the bass music. And I just, you know, just thankful to be a part of that whole movement. And not only that, to be recognized, I've never been the one to brag on myself. I just let my music do what it's supposed to do and let them brag about it. So now, you know what I'm saying, as time went on, man, you know, I've been around and put out more projects, Kilo, myself, other artists, uh, Dennis Lucky Taylor, Cal Norman from Jagged Edge, um, Chariot Casa. Uh, so, you know, uh, right now, uh, I'm the, the music director. I mean, it fell in my lap. You <laughs> won't. The music director. The music director for the Ray Daniel Morning Show. And not only that. I remember we used to work at McDonald's. <laughs> Who worked at McDonald's? Oh. I ain't working on McDonald's place. You was flipping records, my bad. Not Burgers. <laughs> no, I did work at Burger King. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> for two weeks. <laughs> so, so, so tell us what the future holds. Uh, for Atlanta, and secondly, DJ Taz, and Ray Daniels, and radio. What's the future? The future looking so bright right now, man. I just say Atlanta, man, right now. You know, it was a time that we felt like since the music was in New York first, right? Then it went to the West Coast, right? So, we always felt like, me, myself, personally, you know. The South got something to say. The South got something to say, most definitely. Thank you, Three Stack, for that one. Uh, and Vince, keyboard player. <laughs> the <ring> suit. <laughs> hey, we're P Games. So, but we all thought we had to be accepted by, by New York or be accepted by the West Coast. But you know, I knew back then that we always had our own thing. So I thought we always had to go to New York, had to go to the West Coast for that. But now that everything is here, you know what I'm saying? Everything is here in Atlanta. Like this is the Mecca, you know what I mean? This is the Mecca of movies, it's a Mecca of music, it's a Mecca of, okay, cool. you know, black excellence okay. to the highest degree. We got Tyler Perry Studios here. We still got the legends okay. here. We got, you know, the good of my Dungeon family. We got Kilo Ali, we got DJ Chad, we got Raheem Dream. That? We got, you know, we got DJ Smurf, you know, we got Shy D, we got Kids and Rock. So we just, we got it all, man. So we got the, just genres of music, different kind of music. And I'm just, I'm just loving every minute of it, man. Right now, I'm the music director for the Ray Days Morning Show. And little did I know I was a, a radio personality. And I've been trying to get out of it. They keep pulling me back in. But I, I think that's something, another calling God got for me. So I appreciate the opportunity, Ray Days Morning Show. We got to set this up tomorrow. I can promote He's back in the back talking over my interview right now. But either way, go, man. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay tuned. What's going on? We're going to the stratosphere. It's not going to stop. I'm Miss Mozzie from the Ray Dance Morning Show. I am from 
born and raised, actually I was born in a small town called Noonan, Georgia. But when I present myself, I present myself from Miami, Florida because that's who adapted to me and my culture um, adapted to me. Well, my career starting in the radio business is actually a fly by night and I'm excited to have this um, actually opportunity to be on radio. I think this is what was a great fit for me. I've never had chances in my life. I took choice. My choices were great, but chances were kind of a little subliminal. I'm excited because this right here is everything I've always wanted, and now I'm being able to shine and show the light that I really am, the light that I really have. I'm an artist. Uh, my songs are very, very extensive for as woman empowerment. I'm always uplifting the woman, so I'm enjoying myself on the show. Uh, we're going to have fun. That's what we, we're here to do. We're going to have fun. I may change my hair up a lot because Mozzie is a character and that's my brand, but my actually my name is Lysandra. Raheem, yes. <laughs> so I'm being Lysandra right now because Miss Mozzie comes out, it's a lot of stuff that comes and tells with that. Yeah, so if you're going to get multiple things from Miss Mozzie, whether it's color, whether it's attitude or personality, thank you. And guess what? Guys, I'm out. What it do, people? Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. It's your boy Ray Daniels. Uh, uh, I'm glad to be blessed with the platform of doing morning radio uh, for the millions of people that listen to us every day. Uh, it's still growing. It's still growing right now. We're on a couple of affiliates. Uh, a couple of I want to shout out uh, right now. Uh, Power 106.3 KY in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, Power 104 4 in the Charlotte, North Carolina. And big ups to our brand new affiliate which is uh, Fresh 92.1 out of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Uh, I love you some Mississippi. I love the cornbread, collard greens, black eyed peas, and especially the ladies. Um, at the end of the day, uh, my radio journey is a little different than most uh, radio personalities' journey. I, I didn't have any intentions on becoming a radio personality, but now I enjoy it immensely. Uh, at the end of the day, my radio journey started back in 1994 in Columbia, South Carolina, at the University of Columbia, South Carolina. I actually went there uh, trying to get my music played. I, I, I was in the, in the midst of a record deal at the time, a young guy, and just young and ambitious, I wanted to get my record heard on the radio. Uh, so you never know where one thing leads to another, where one journey, one door opens up, or one door closes up, and one door opens up for you. Uh, because I went there with all intentions of just getting my record played. Um, I, have an, uh, I have an abrasive, uh, you know, uh, I'm, a, I'm a, what they call an extrovert. <laughs> so I went there, I was very humorous, making jokes, uh, making light of it, but at the end of the day, they told me I couldn't get my record played, because at most college stations, but people don't know college stations play uh, a diverse amount of music. It's not just one format of music because it's a college and there's a lot of people of different nationalities or whatever in that college. So they, you know, to cater to the nationalities and people with different formats and likes and love of music, it's different formats. Like so, at, at, at the morning you could be listening to punk rock. In the afternoon it could be rock and roll. It can be easy listening. It can be cultivated international music by the end of the day. And of course, they know my music was R&B and hip hop. That's what I was targeting. That was my niche artist, my target audience. Then we had two hours a day for that in college radio. So I, I, wanted, I wanted that two hours so bad. So I walked away angry when they refused to play the music. But they gave me a great explanation of why they couldn't do it because of the diversity uh, and the duality of radio uh, on a college campus. But uh, halfway when I walked through, you know, before I left, they offered me uh, a show on the station of WUSC uh, based on my personality. <laughs> was, you know, back in the day, we, we, we talk in the 90s, radio was definitely built on personalities. I mean, it wasn't based on the fact that you were a washed up rapper or a comedian to tell shows. You really had to do radio in the 90s. Like, you had to be a really radio personality like Tom Joyner, or Russ Parr who really broke records like Wendy Williams. Uh, so you have to be a real radio person in the 90s. 
now, you can be a rapper or one hit, one hit wonder, and next thing you know, you're on the radio show in Atlanta doing big things. <laughs> or now you can be a washed up comedian who barely gets shows due to COVID, and you could be the number one radio show in, in, in the world. So, uh, with that being said, I took the gig on the strip that I know if I became a radio personality, I could play my record. So I, 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 you know, I call myself hustling them. But by, by, before it's all over, they hustled me because I fell in love with radio. Uh, I didn't immediately go into radio right after college because I learned the way to make money using radio at the time, and it took me into promotion. So I, I, right after college, I went straight into nightclub promotion with the use of radio. And then I'm, I'm gonna speak the story up real quickly because uh, I want to get to where we at right now, 20, 20, 20 21. Uh, so let's read the story up. So that, my college radio days led me to do a party, which I was probably averaging maybe like two thousand to three thousand dollars a day doing parties. So right now, nobody in radio was making two thousand to three thousand dollars a day. I don't care if you're from Western Flex, I don't care who you are. You're, making, you're not making two to three thousand dollars a day. Okay. So at that time, all right. So. Uh, but you know, radio making two to three thousand dollars a day. I opted to do two thousand dollars a day, and, and, and I was and everybody knew me for being on the radio uh, because of what led me to do a nightclub promotion is during my time on the radio, I used to plug the nightclubs in in the in the Columbia, South Carolina metro market, and for me plugging the radio stations, I, I, I increased their you know, capacity by three times, and he was making three times what they was making on alcohol in the hot wings. So, you know, I became the face of a lot of nightclubs that were willing to pay me anywhere between, uh, you know, $2,000 to $3,000 a night. Um, and my day was over by 12, because most of these parties started at 5 p.m. and they last until about 12, because I was doing them during the week and I was going to go to work. Um, so with that being said, um, after radio, once, once, I, once, once I did the nightclubs, I got back into radio because I was promoting a magazine, a publication that I did uh, called Drama Magazine. And, you know, I was I was doing about you know 200,000 uh, you know copies of the magazine quarterly. Uh, the magazine was a quarterly magazine, so that means it only came out four times a year. So I went to spring, summer, fall, and uh, I became one of the hottest magazines in the streets of New York. I won numerous awards. And that magazine, uh, you know, I launched a DVD off the name of the magazine and I launched an internet radio station off the magazine. Uh, the way I got back into doing radio was when I had the magazine, Drama Magazine. I, I, I know the power, knowing the power of radio, I organized interviews with some of the most powerful radio personalities in New York, like Ed Lover, Wendy Williams, Kay Slay. DJ MV at the time, Miss Jones was one of the hottest radio personalities in the morning. Uh, big up to Miss Jones, big up to Michael Sean right now, who's doing it real big with DD in the morning out there in Dallas. But so I used the mag, I used radio to promote my magazine. So all this stuff ties in together. People think that, you know, we do radio, it don't got nothing to do with doing live performances and concerts, it very well does. Uh, radio, you know, most radio stations that are doing it big in the, in the metro markets, uh, they use events to promote their radio station. Like in New York, you got Hot 97, they have the Summer Jam. It's really, they got the power jam. So, like, at the end of the day, um, I, I learned how to tie it all in together. I, I, I learned to use all the media platforms, uh, magazines, radio, DVDs at one time, now it's the internet. Uh, so, of course, when, when magazines became uh, a slow source of information, meaning that people will already know what I was writing about in the magazine because of the internet. Uh, so I built an internet radio station and I started that. And in New York, under, under, the, uh, under the title, and under the brand of Drama Magazine, which was my magazine, but then I came to Atlanta and I rebranded it because uh, mag the, the turnaround on magazines, like somebody had a story on Nicki Minaj, by the time my magazine was published, they, everybody already knew what it was with Nicki Minaj. So it, it made no sense to do it at that point. So I was like, I need a faster way to get the, this, to get the story out. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna do internet radio. 
What's up? What's up? Guess what? I'm the new co-host on the Ray Daniels Morning Show featuring DJ Taz. It's your girl. It's Mozzie, baby. Tune in. 6 a.m. on Monday. We're going to be up in here lit. You know, we have all the gossip and we break all the records. So guess what? Tune in. You're locked into the hottest radio station on the internet. It's MyRadioConnect.com. <laughs> 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 